Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Flaws, back again with another video. And today we're going to get into the first episode of my new series, The Amazon Warrior. Now, what is The Amazon Warrior, you ask? Let me explain it to y'all real quick. In my house, me and my girl, we have a tradition, we call it Amazoning. All right, now what is Amazoning? <laughs> That's a made up word, but this is what we call it, Amazoning. This is what that means. Tuesday night, we like to go to the liquor store, get a big bottle of Hennessy, come back in the house, she gets on her computer, I get on my computer, we start getting drunk, and we just start browsing Amazon, looking for cool products. Now, she likes to get into all the girly stuff, sewing kits and blow dryers and all kind of girl stuff. Me, I like to deal with tech products and just cool gadgets and anything that I think is hot. So that's what we call Amazoning, and this is my first episode of the Amazon Warrior. Now, these videos, they have no price threshold, which means that I can review something that costs a dollar all the way up to something that costs a thousand dollars. There's no high end and there's no low end. We're just going to get into completely random shit. Now, these is laid back videos, so we're going to be doing a lot of cursing, a lot of talking shit, drinking and all that. So this is a laid back video. If you're looking for a complete tech video, this ain't it. This is more like a vlog, more like a, you know, just a cool out video. But I will be showing y'all some cool shit that I found on Amazon. So we're going to try to do this every single weekend. Like I said, every Tuesday night, we always get drunk and order some shit. I get it in the mail a couple of days later. I don't even remember that I ordered it. I got boxes. I got a whole stack of stuff that I got from Amazon that I, I didn't even remember ordering. And we're just going to get into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to check out today is an HD square flashlight. All right. Now, this is crazy. Now, before we get into this, I got to tell you out a story of how I ended up finding this product. But before I tell you the story, like I said, this is a laid back video, so let's um let's have a drink together, me and all my subscribers. Now, you can pause the video, go make yourself a drink, I'll give you a minute. Shout out to Club Guest House. You know, they threw me a birthday party there, so they made me some custom shot glasses. Drink up, bitches. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a quick drink. Now, since it's not Tuesday night, it's the weekend, I will be drinking some clear liquor. I don't really rock with the, the Hennessy every night. I like to drink the Hennessy on Tuesdays. But let's just have a quick shot. I'm rocking old school today with some uh, plain, plain absolute. Fellas, ladies, bottoms up. <laughs> Woo! Yes, 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 yes. Now, let's get into the story of the HD flashlight and how I ended up finding it. Hold on a second. Let me let that burn kick in. Whew, that was aight. I hope y'all having a drink at home too. Let's relax. It's a Sunday night. Let's just cool out. Now for the story. The other night, my girl, her friends came in from out of town. So she wanted to throw them a little get together at the crib. So you already know what that means, fellas. You're not invited. You know what I'm saying? So I had to bounce. Now, I didn't feel like going to a party. I didn't feel like going to a club or nothing. I didn't feel like getting dressed up. So I decided to just go check one of my boys and go cool out at his crib for a little while. Now, my dudes, they old school. They don't like talking on the phone. They don't like text messaging. None of them got Facebook. You know what I'm saying? They old school cats. Some of the cats. So some of them do, but a lot of these cats, they, you know, they, they like to rock old school. So I like to just pop in, show up at the crib. So I get in the car. I'm driving. I'm going to go check my man out in Queensbridge, out in the 41st side. Shout out to everybody from Queensbridge. So I'm driving in the car. Now, when I, when, now, if you don't know this, when you go to Queensbridge, be careful, all right? Because you will get got out there. So what I like to do when I go to Queensbridge, I don't park where, the, you know, where everybody at. I like to park maybe like, you know, eight, ten blocks away and then come through on foot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in the back streets. I'm driving around looking for a parking space. All of a sudden, I hear this sound. Whoop, whoop. Fellas, you already know what that is. Police. All right? Not the police. Police. That's what we call it. Now, <laughs> now I hear the sound. I look in my mirror. It's not blue and whites, though. It's not regular police, blue and whites. It's detectives. All right? Unmarked car. So, anybody from the streets, you already know, nine times out of ten, if you get pulled over by a blue and white, you're subject to get a random ticket for some bullshit, tinted windows, you know, loud pipes, no seatbelt, talking on the phone, all that, all that corny shit. But when you get pulled over by the D's, and when I say D's, for all y'all cats that don't know, I mean detectives. So when you get pulled over by the D's, nine times out of ten, they're on a specific mission. Whether it's homicide detectives, street crimes, robbery, you know, whatever. Nine times out of ten, they're not pulling you over for some tinted windows. They're not pulling you over, you know, for a seatbelt. 
So when I looked in the mirror and I seen it was the D's, I, I was like, all right, I'm a little bit relieved because at least I don't have to worry about no bullshit tent ticket or, or nothing like that. But at the same time, it's in the middle of the night. You know, it was it was about maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. It's mad dark and I'm in the back streets. So, you know, you got to be a little bit more careful. So now the cops came up to the car, you know, license, registration, all that jazz. Fine. Everything's cool. I got all my paperwork is clean. No problems. Then the cop was like, yo, they want to search my car. Now, normally I don't consent to searches, but when they catch you in the middle of the night and you're in the back blocks, let me tell you something, fellas. From my experiences, it's always better to act like a gentleman first before you go into, you know, douchebag mode. Act like a gentleman, because nine times out of ten, when you act like a gentleman, you'll get treated like a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? When you act like, when you act like a dick, then you're going to get fucked. You know what I'm saying? So I went, I act like a gentleman. I normally don't consent to searches, but I was like, all right, that's fine. And another thing, if you don't consent to the search, if they just want to, you know, if they want to be spiteful, they'll go out and call, you know, bring the dog, the police dog. And when the dog comes, they're going to scratch up your hood of your car. They're going to mess up your seats. They're going to be drooling all over the car. I ain't got time for that. So I said, okay, fine. I know, you know, now on a side note, fellas, I do got a stash spot in the car. You will never find it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's all good. I know they ain't gonna find nothing in the car, so I said, right, "Fine, let me jump out and let me, cause you know, go ahead get get with the search." So now I get out the car. Cops start searching the car. You know what I'm saying? Now keep in mind, just so I can paint the picture for y'all, it's three cops. All three of them is some big giant football playing looking motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Some big giant cops. So you know, but I'm a big dude myself. And the two cops, they you know, kind of going through the car. One of the cops is you know chilling with me on the side. Big dude, and he, you know, we talking about working out and all that shit. I told him that, you know, I'll be benching the four plates. You know what I'm saying? Respect that. So, you know, big dudes tend to respect each other on some big man level type shit. So, you know, we had a little conversation going. As we talking, the, you know, they going through the car. The mood is getting more relaxed because they, they're not finding nothing. Like I said, I got a stash spot. You will never find it. But here's the kicker now. When I look at, when I look at the cop, pull out the flashlight to search the trunk. He turned the flashlight on. My whole trunk lit up like if it was daylight. And I'm talking about mad bright, and it was a perfect square beam. Now look, I was immediately impressed, I was immediately jocking, but I ain't gonna let nobody else know that. Hold on a second. My bad, I had paused this uh, TV show and it just came back on, it was mad loud. Anyway, when I seen the square beam flashlight, I was immediately impressed. You know, and I was, I was definitely feeling it. But I ain't gonna let you know that I'm feeling it. You know what I'm saying? I know how to keep it inside. So I'm looking at the dude with the flashlight and he going through the trunk and all that. I was like, yo, in my mind, I need that flashlight. I've never seen that before. Now, I know some of y'all cats gonna hit me up in the comments like square flashlights is old and all of that. Y'all had them for years. Look, I don't, I don't know everything. I didn't see everything. This is something new to me. This is my first time seeing that and I was definitely impressed. So anyway, furthermore... <laughs> Cops going through the trunk, they didn't find nothing, whatever. So now the the environment is is nice and cool and relaxed and all that. So they took, you know, they, and at the beginning they told me that, look, they not they not here to bust my balls and all that. They just want to you know search the car if I don't have no drugs and no guns and all that. They just gonna cut me loose. So I'm like, all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? So after they searched the trunk, searched the inside of the car, they didn't find nothing. So I'm like, yo, y'all gotta you know y'all gonna keep y'all word and cut me loose. Y'all didn't find nothing. What's up? I'm, I'm out of here. Or what? So the cop was like, yeah, no doubt. You know, not to mention, you know, we already started talking a little bit. You know, they could see that I'm a gentleman. So they're like, all right, no problem. Now, before the cop left, I was going to ask him where did he get the flashlight from. You know, I normally don't like asking too many questions, especially when they get ready to cut me loose. But it was just building up in my mind. I wanted it so bad. I decided to just ask. So I asked the cop. I was like, yo, is that a personal flashlight or is that something that's, you know, issued from your department? And he was like, nah, it's a personal flashlight, but he don't remember where he got it from. Now, on the side note, fellas, don't you hate that? I hate people like that. You know, and I'm not talking about cops. I'm talking about people like that in general. You know when you see your boy and he got some new kicks on, some new sneakers, a new jacket or something that's hot. And you say, yo, where you got that from? Oh, you know, it was a gift or I got it from some store out of town. You know, a lot of cats just say that because they don't want you to have it. You know what I'm saying? I hate that. Me, I'm the opposite. I'm the complete opposite of that. If you see me with something and you say, yo, where you got that from? Not only am I going to tell you where, the, where, you, where you got it, where I got it from, I'm going to tell you where to get it, tell you how much it costs, tell you how to get the discount on it, if there's a discount available, because I want you to have the hot shit. I don't care if somebody got the same thing as me. It's all about how you wearing it and, you know, how you play it. I don't care if somebody wearing the same jacket as me. You still ain't me. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that was always my, my theory. So I didn't care about telling people that stuff. But anyway, anyway, 
He didn't tell me where he got it from. I was like, all right, cool. I didn't really expect him to tell me anyway, but whatever. So they got in the car, drove away. I jump in the car, immediately pull out my Galaxy Note, and immediately start Googling it. And sure enough, I took it to my favorite site, Amazon, and I, and I found it. So that's the story behind how I got the flashlight. Now let's take a look at the actual flashlight. That was a nice little, little story right there while you are enjoying your drink. Matter of fact, let's do one more shot. Why not? One shot got me uh, sweating a little bit, feeling good. Let's do another quick shot. Fellas, ladies, bottoms up. I know y'all could probably think of some better toast than that, but, you know, I'm corny like that. Bottoms up. Ah, woo! Woo, let that go down. Let that go down. Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. Now, let me move that out the way. Square flashlight. Fellas, this is hot. All right? Now, I haven't checked this one yet personally. This is it right here. I haven't looked at this one personally, but um, if it's anything like the one the dude had the other night, this is a win. First up, let me pull up the website where I got it from. Y'all already know this is the Amazon Warrior. So everything you see on these episodes is something that you could just go on Amazon and cop for yourself. Amazon.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. You see, I ordered this on June 30th. I got it a couple of, I got it maybe, I don't know. A week ago just never got into opening it i thought about it today let's get it popping now this is the bushnell hd torch 165 lumen square beam led flashlight the price for this 60 bucks and it's in stock now ship from amazon you could get a gift wrap if you want pause this and read it for yourself but evenly distributed square beam light pattern okay powerful 165 lumen output 1.5 hours continuous one time. All right, so you can run this for an hour and a half straight. Rotating head with high safety and strobe settings. Rugged, waterproof aircraft grade aluminum housing with hand anodized finish that won't scratch your mar. All right, so it's aircraft grade aluminum and it's waterproof. All right, so that's, that, that's plenty of win right there. Find me feature and battery life indicator includes two three volt lithium batteries. So I like when a flashlight comes with batteries, especially when it's some batteries that you can't really just go buy at the store. You want to get it and use it immediately. That's what you got to do. Now, there's a newer model of this available. You know, of course, after you order it, the new one comes out. But um, <laughs> that one is $93. So before we get the new one, we're going to check out the old one first and see if this one is a go. Then we get the new one. Now, I'm going to play this video for y'all real quick. Let me dim the light. Okay, so let's check out the video on the website. When your job puts you in life and death situations each and every day, you need tools you can count on for safety, protection, and investigation. Now there's a new tool that represents the most significant advancement in tactical and law enforcement lighting technology of the 21st century. Introducing the new HD torch from Bushnell using patented proprietary design that creates a perfectly square beam. It delivers extreme high definition light intensity from edge to edge. Unlike standard flashlights that produce irregular blobs of light, the HD torch completely illuminates every inch of its range with bright, clean light and eliminates distracting shadows. With no peripheral distraction from light bleed and unmatched clarity across its entire coverage area, it is the perfect tool for conducting a search when using the grid or quadrant pattern in a larger area or for inspecting confined places such as vehicles. At 7 to 10 yards, it effectively illuminates a suspect or assailant from head to waist, providing a clear view of potential weapons and your lethal target area. And because the Bushnell HD torch delivers a localized beam, none of its light is shed on you. There is also very minimal backlighting during use, meaning you are less likely to be detected before you make a visual. Don't move! You can illuminate an entire wall without moving the HD torch side to side. Its highly focused beam is an effective tool for reading and examining details as well. The Bushnell HD Torch is precision machined from aircraft-grade aluminum for the ultimate blend of lightweight and rugged durability. 
The HD torch provides 165 lumen output and is up to 40 times brighter than standard LED flashlights. Choose from two modes, high and safety strobe for signaling. It's waterproof to IPX7 standard for dependability in all weather conditions and runs on two 3-volt lithium batteries. Edge to edge, no flashlight in the world delivers a comparable level of radiant intensity and consistency of brightness. Equip yourself and your team with the ultimate high-definition tactical lighting advantage. The HD Torch High-Definition Illumination from Bushnell. Oh, that's kind of hot right there fellas all right let me pause this and turn the lights on real quick all right so you've seen the video for yourself this shit is kind of hot now i gotta point out something real quick if you look on amazon there is a little little side note at the bottom special shipping information due to federal and international regulations this product can only be shipped within the 50 states so everybody in the usa you good money but all your cats all of my european cats all my asian cats all my cats from africa I don't know how you're going to get this. You might check the um, Amazon UK for the European dudes, but everybody else, I don't really know what to say. In the United States, you could get this all day. No problems. Now, before we open this up, let's have another shot. Shout out to all my European cats out there. When I did that still gut video the other day, I couldn't read the back of the box. It was in German. And um, I just made a little comment in the video. Somebody translate this for me. And Mad Cats hit me up with the translation. So let's have a drink for all my European cats out there. And all my cats in the other continents. Let's do one more shot. Because I am getting right right now. I'm feeling good. Let's do this. Face down. Ass up. <laughs> Y'all know the rest. Cheers. Woo. Yes. Now I'm spilling all over the place. That, that, that lets you know you're having fun. When you're making a drink and you're spilling it, you're having fun, all right? Now let's bust this open and see what it looks like. Where's the little unboxing knife at? Got a special one for this video. Nice little unboxing knife right here. Like I said, whenever, whenever I chill with my girl in the crib, we always got to spill a few drinks. That lets you know that you're having a good time. If you don't spill nothing, then uh, you need to step your drink game up. High definition light. Extreme light intensity from edge to edge, square beam. All right, now this is the Bushnell joint. If you look at the back, Bushnell HD light is uniform intensity from edge to edge, resulting in a perfectly uniform square light beam. All right, now look at that compared to the old flashlights. This looks crazy. Got the little unboxing knife. Do we have to go into beast mode? Let's uh, let's see if we can bust this open. Ah! All right, count me down, fellas. Do we have to activate beast mode? Ah, let's activate the beast mode. Ah. Fuck. Yeah. Whew. Let's go. All right, let's see what you get inside now. <laughs> fellas, ladies, usual books and shit. Nothing fancy. box got nice and wet lick all on deck <laughs> that kind of rhymed I've been rhyming lately yeah. you find out I gotta come out of retirement and get back up in this rap game yeah. you get the actual flashlight and you get your two batteries let's pull these out alright so the two three volt lithium batteries that come with it that's a good look right there flashlight itself has a nice weight to it feels nice now might have to take it to the book to figure out some of the features but um has a little stick on the front show you how to insert the batteries <laughs> oh i'm getting kind of tipsy fellas so bear with me i paused the video real quick too had to go do something and i took another shot on the low i know I, I, i'm one shot ahead of y'all so if y'all need to catch up catch up screw this in and let's see how it feels now it does have a little hole in the bottom so you can throw a little string on there if you want let's see on the back looks like some kind of illuminated button I guess this is the power button let's see now this is adjustable did I put these batteries in right 
Looks like I put them in right. Let's try this again. I like doing this stuff live because when you get this kind of products at home, yeah, I could edit the video and come back when everything is working and all that, but I want y'all to go through the same frustration that, that, that I got to go through and the same frustration that you're going to go through. All right, so these look like they're going front forward. Let's put them in. Let's try this again. All right. Now, I'm getting no light on the front. Might have to take it to the book real quick and see what's going on. Because this looks like this is the power button right here. But we're getting no juice. So, fellas, I know I hate to take it to the book. But I'm going to pause the video for a second, take it to the book, and see if we can't figure this out. Hold on. Matter of fact, all y'all cats that need to catch up, have that one more shot. And I'll be right back. All right, fellas, I had to take it to the book real quick. And I found out I was making a simple mistake. Now, the batteries was inserted correctly, but this is not the power button. The power button is actually on the back. So when you press the power button, turns the flashlight on, you get that green light. Now, the green light means that your batteries are fully charged. When the light turns red, they say that means that you only have 10 minutes left of battery life. So that's good right there. This way, your flashlight won't just die on you out of the blue. When you see it turn red, you know you got to start looking for new batteries. Now, check out the beam. Square beam. This is hot, fellas. The further you move away, look how much light you get right there. And I'm just holding this up above the camera. But I got to test this outside. This is a perfect square beam. Looks crazy. Now, this button right here, this is how you activate the strobe feature. So let's press the button. Let's get that zoom in. Now you got the strobe feature. This is kind of hot right here. Now, this is something I'll probably leave in the car. Maybe I'll get another one. I'll, now that I know this one is a go, I'll probably get the more expensive one for the house. Leave this one in the car. So now when you catch a flat tire somewhere, or you get stranded in the middle of the night, or you're stuck on the side of the highway, you don't have to worry about getting ran over by a car. You just turn on the light and turn on the flash function. All right? That's kind of hot right there. Now, it does have a Find Me feature. Once you turn this light on, you can use this button Activate strobe and turn it off. Now, what's going to happen is it's, the flashlight is off, but this button is still lit up. So now say you out camping or you got your flashlight in the, in the trunk somewhere and you can't find it and you're looking around for stuff, this green light will be illuminated so it'll help you find the actual light. So when you're leaving in like when you're going camping or you're outside in the middle of the night doing stuff, you, you know, turn the flashlight off using the button. Don't turn it all the way off and you'll still have that light. That's the find me feature. So if it was mad dark, you'll see that little green light. You notice the way your flashlight is light. All you got to do is press the button, turn it back on. Strobe mode. Complete square. All right, so overall on a scale of 1 to 10, this is a win. It does exactly what it says it does. It's supposed to be a square flashlight, and that's exactly what it is. Now, like I said, I want to try it out outside. Maybe the one the cop had was a better version because his seemed like if it was ultra bright. But maybe I got, I got a whole bunch of lights on it here too, so we'll see. I'm going I'm to take it outside and try it out in a few minutes and um, see if it's that bright. But if this is the same one the cop had, this is a win right here. Nice and small, has a nice aluminum feel to it, and it's waterproof. This is a win right here from Bush now. All right, so that's my first episode of the Amazon Warrior. Like I said, we're going to get into a whole bunch of products, nothing specific. Everything going to be completely random. One day we'll do this. One day we'll do, yo, I got the Batman ice trays. Yo, I got a whole bunch of crazy shit. And like I said, the more I drink, the more creative I get. And I start ordering crazy shit. And I'm going to show it to y'all. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think about the Amazon Warrior. If you like it, you know what I'm saying? Let me know you like it. If you don't like it, what can I say? Eat a dick. <laughs> Before we get out of here, let's have one more shot. For all the subscribers out there, everybody that be liking the videos, everybody that be leaving the comments, everybody that be hitting me up on Facebook and Instagram and all that, let's have a shot. Now, this says happy birthday. It ain't my birthday, but we'll still have a shot together. One more shot. We're bringing Sunday night together on a good note. Before I get out of here, got to get my usual outro. Now, before we do the outro, <laughs> let's have a quick shot. All right. One of, matter of fact, one of my Italian cats out there, all y'all Italian cats that um watch the videos, 
I know Italians, y'all always got some nice, cool toast. Hit me up in the comments and, and help me learn some new toast. I can't keep on saying bottoms up every time I go somewhere looking like a dick. Nah, all my Italian homeboys out there, hit me up and let me know because y'all know y'all got the cool toast. Every time I go to one of y'all Italian weddings, y'all be doing it up with the toast. Hit me up in the comments and let me know a new toast. But until then, y'all know. Now, when I said the face down, ass up, hit me up in the comments if you know the rest of that toast right there. That's the one we're going to stick with right now. Let's go. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rock with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all in the next trip. Now look, <laughs> I just had to show this real quick. This is another thing I got from Amazon. All y'all cats that be on Instagram all day, on the gram, y'all know about Kermit. Kermit is a big dog right now. So I had to get Kermit so I can make my own memes. I don't really be posting them on Instagram, but I do be bombing my family members with mad memes that I make. So I had to get my own Kermit. I'll throw the link for this up in the description if you want to make your own too. It is what it is. Oh yeah. One more thing. All y'all haters. All y'all trolls. Go eat a fucking dick. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.